Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and I do everything budgeting on this channel. I do weekly budgets on my channel as well as weekly cash stuffing. I am a weekly budgeter, so I am able to budget out all of our money and then cash stuff every week. So on Thursdays, I go over the budget. On Saturdays, I do cash stuffing as well as I always include a video on Tuesdays as well. So let's get into the budget and let's see where we are allocating all of our money this week. First, I wanted to go over what I will be launching on July 19th. So Monday, July 19th, I am going to be launching this little summer kit. There will only be two sets available. I'm starting out slow and then I'm working my way up. There will be another pastel print that I will be launching probably at the end of July. But for right now, this is going to be my summer kit is what I am calling it. And it is going to be um, envelopes. It is going to be cash envelopes and it will be the peekaboo style. And then at the very bottom, you can get whatever you want written in two different fonts. So this one I call home renovations. This one is my Costco shop. And then this one is it's your birthday. So this one is for all of the birthdays in my family. I just wanted something different and I've been practicing now with my um, Cricut for a while and I feel like it's coming along really, really well so that I am able to now sell what, you know, I kind of envisioned happening with my Cricut and with the vinyl and I absolutely am loving it. So what I suggest if you are interested in these two sets, there will be two sets and there will be eight envelopes each. I will show you the print in a second, but try to think of something that's gonna take up two lines. That's what I did with this. So for birthdays, I did it's your birthday. So in rather than just birthday, cause I kinda like the um, font to be white and black. It will be white and black only right now and it will be this type of font. So this is a cursive font, this is um, printing, and it will be exactly this font that you see on all of these. And same with like Costco, like normally my old envelope said Costco, but this is just Costco shop. So you can put grocery shop or what have you. This one is home renovations. I normally called it renovations. This one I just put home renovations. You kind of get, what I'm, I'm thinking, I feel like it just looks better rather than just having one word. You can you can put one word as well too. I will um, show you the prints now that I have for summer. So these are going to be the prints that I have for this summer collection. Like I said, they will be sold in an eight pack and there is only two sets available. So make sure that if you are interested, mark your calendar. It will be on July 18th at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time is when I'm going to be launching this set. So these are all of the eight prints. The two sets are exactly the same and they will be cut how I just showed you. They will be that peekaboo style. They will be the clear so that you can see the money when it's inside. Let me just show you for an example really, really quick. I absolutely love these. I love, love, love them. So there you go. I am Canadian. So there it is. It fits comfortably a Canadian bill or an American bill. And it'll be clear on the back as well. And I absolutely love them. I am seriously wishing that I had more print, like more of this, but I found this specialty um, cardstock just on a whim and I cannot find any more. Um, I love the boba, I love the watermelons, and they were literally had only two sheets and I cannot find them anywhere else. So these are exclusive 100%. And like I said, when it is all said and done, this is what your envelopes will look like. They will be hole punched. They will be cornered. All of the things, sets of eight. You can also leave them blank. If you don't know what you want, you can leave them blank, but they will be only sold in sets of eight, okay? So that is my exciting news for that, for my next launch, July 18th. So make sure you keep a lookout for that. Let's get into the budget.
All right, you would notice that I am still using my old budget planner. It just happened by chance because I thought about rewriting it. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will rewrite it because I actually have my planner all ready to go. And you know what? I think I will rewrite it and show you my new planner. I really, really want to use this planner. So I have arranged it all. I have a label maker. So that is what I did is I just changed these up. And um, because you guys know I don't pay any bills with our paydays, we get guaranteed income at the end of the month. If you're new and you want to know why, I will link a video up here in the cards for you to watch. Um, but let's get started. I'm going to do this and I'm going to rewrite it and I'm going to try to go quickly so this video isn't forever. But I definitely wanted to use this um, because I love it. And I just love how even my July monthly thing came out as well. Love it all. All right, let's get started. So the income that we are budgeting is going to be Jimmy's income. And it is $1,600. It was almost exactly that. I think it was like a dollar over, but I kind of like having just an even number instead of pennies because that's what I work with. So uh, we will bring this income down. And you know, I have not even been selling things right now because normally I have been selling things around my house. Um, I usually clean out an area and then I set all of the things that I want to sell just to the side. And then every week I sell it to make extra money. But you will definitely see a change in Saturday's video. I will keep you updated on what is going on and everything but there is some big big changes in um, my cash stuffing so we will get into that like i said on saturday all right so our sinking funds our sinking funds that we have are medical costco i'll do these individually actually so ten dollars is what's going to medical $50 is going to Costco, which is usually what I do every week. Reno's is getting its normal $100. We do that every week. Beauty is getting $25. Birthdays is getting Travel, which is travel money that we use just for gas, is getting $20. Pets is getting $40. Date night is getting $10. Holidays is getting $5. And that is holidays like... Uh, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, and that source. Support Small is getting $10. And Hunting is getting its weekly $60. We are going quite aggressively on Hunting because we were unsure of my husband's appointment and when his surgery would be. And now it is in January, so we are able to hunt uh, this November so we kind of need to go aggressively every week on that because hunting is expensive we do get enough venison for the whole entire year however hunting is expensive and can usually cost between a thousand and twelve hundred dollars for the month anniversary is getting five myself is getting 25 taxes is getting $10 and taxes is just to get our taxes prepared. We rarely have to pay taxes because we do have a lot of write-offs. And Apollo is getting $10. That is our online streaming company. We always rave about Apollo. I have the link down below if you are interested, but it is hands down the best online streaming. We get all of the channels. We get um, movies, we get sports, literally absolutely everything. And it runs kind of like Netflix in the sense that if you are watching a series, you can go back and watch previous series and episodes. It is amazing. $200 a year is what I pay um, Canadian funds. 
and we will never, never do anything else other than Apollo. Car maintenance is also getting $10. Car registration, which we pay once a year in March, is getting $10. Our emergency fund is going to be getting $20. And that is it for all of our sinking funds. Our savings challenge that we are adding to is going to be our Christmas challenge and it is getting $25. So I just figure out that with my budget, whatever I'm able to afford for the week. It's not like anything um, like pre, it's, it's just something, I don't know what the word is, but it's something that I just work in with my budget, just like all of these other numbers. All right, now we are going to move down below and we are going to figure out our cash envelopes. So our cash envelopes is what I take with me everywhere. I actually have my cash wallet right here. This is my cash wallet and I keep these categories that I'm about to show you this is what I carry with me all of the time, okay? My other binders are just when I need something, I usually take it out or I'll take the envelope with me. If I'm going, let's say, for my nail fill, I just take the beauty envelope with me out of the binder. I do not take my bigger binders with me anywhere. They stay in the house. All right, so for cash envelopes, we are going to be doing groceries, and we are still going to keep with $100 for groceries because I my, my daughter is 19. She goes to college. However, she is going to be dog sitting from um, like the middle of July until October. So she is going to be getting her like own groceries and the people that she's house sitting, dog sitting for has given her money for that. So we won't be needing a lot of groceries. Like honestly, Jimmy and I do not eat a lot. That is one thing after having four kids is a huge, huge difference. And I don't even know if we'll spend the $100 uh, a week for our groceries. I know that sounds crazy, um, but it depends. Like we don't buy meat, right? So we butcher our own pig and um, which provides us pork for the year. And then we have venison, we have elk, moose, um, and deer that we all butcher and we have enough for the whole year with venison. So the only thing that we're buying for meat is chicken. So um, that is why we don't, don't spend a whole lot on groceries. Um, but $100, I'm gonna play around with it. I did think that I was gonna increase it now that we are debt free, but I'm just gonna keep it at $100 for right now. All right, my gas is going to be $60. I'm still keeping that at 60 for right now. And same with my personal and eating out. That may change as time goes on, but you know what? These numbers have been working for me, so I kind of just keep them the same, okay? So eating out is also going to be getting $10. All right, so let's actually, we forgot to total up our sinking funds. So let me just quickly do that. All right, so that comes to $430 for our sinking funds. Let's minus that from 1600 is 1170 left. And then obviously this is 180 is always my total for my cash envelopes and we will minus the 1170 minus 180, which equals 990. And then we are doing $25 for our savings challenge. So minus $25, and that is 965 that we have left. So actually it will be 765 because every payday that Jimmy has, um, he gets $200 and that lasts him for two weeks. So on every payday of his, $200 goes to him and that lasts him until his next payday. So I am actually going to minus this off. It's not extra debt, but it's just Jimmy's cash and he gets $200. $200 and then we have left over 765. So, 
I am just going to leave this in our account for right now, the $7.65, because I plan on doing more savings challenges in the future. I really just need to figure out what I'm saving for, which I know what I'm saving for. Our priority is Las Vegas is going to be the first priority where I need to save and I want to do a savings challenge for. My next priority is going to be a cruise. We want to go to on an Alaskan cruise. So Vegas is going to be this year. Vegas is going to be October. My husband's surgery is in January of 2023. He is getting his third spinal surgery, if you are new here. And he will have a long recovery, probably about you know six months to a year recovery. So next year, we may not be doing much traveling, but I'm still going to be saving for these other um, vacations that I'm going to be mentioning, okay? But Vegas is this year. The next one is going to be an Alaskan cruise which I will be saving for starting, you know, hopefully this month, if not August, but we won't be able to go until maybe later in 2023 or even in 2024. And then I am saving to go to Germany and we want to go to Germany for about four to six weeks on a vacation. I have relatives there. My grandpa actually came from Germany on the boat to um, Canada and I have a lot of history in Germany and it is in the, the south part of Germany in the Black Forest area. So we want to go there for, like I said, four to six weeks. And that is going to take me a year to save for that. So we definitely won't be going until probably 2024, definitely for that one. And then another vacation that I am thinking about starting a savings challenge for is San Francisco. I do want to go and see Alcatraz before it closes down. I just have this feeling that, you know, it's kind of falling apart from what I've been hearing on documentaries and things of that nature. And I definitely want to see Alcatraz before it closes up. So that is kind of my priorities as far as savings challenges and big holidays that we want to do in the next year and a half, I guess, almost two years, considering Jimmy will be um, recovering for, you know, six months to a year. So that is kind of my goal for the savings challenges. And we will see how I can incorporate them with our budget. So um, I stay tuned for that. I'm still kind of figuring out the numbers figuring out the paydays. Obviously in January, my husband will go on long-term disability and his wage will be cut by probably, I think it's 40%. I think he gets 60% of his wage in pay, but it's something we still need to adjust to, right? And same with me, I'm a full-time YouTuber, a full-time Etsy owner, that is how I get paid. So please, if you're considering supporting my channel, please do. Um, I appreciate it so much. My Etsy shop, please, you know, make a, a purchase from there and, you know, give me the support. I would absolutely love it. That is how I earn my money. And, you know, things, things change as far as finances. We are very fortunate enough that we do receive that guaranteed income um, because Jimmy was a veteran and, you know, we, we are very blessed to receive that income and that covers all of our bills and then some, you know, so things may change and shift a little bit once January comes. So I really have to think about how much I'm going to be allowing for the traveling savings challenges that we have in mind in order for us to meet our goals and also something that we can afford each week in order to put towards that savings challenge, correct? All right, so now what I quickly did um, over on this other side, this is my budget breakdown. So what normally happens is for this, the envelopes, you write down all of your envelopes. I did finally figure out what this was, the category, the amount, and then this here is the breakdown of that amount. Finally, finally figured it out, you guys. So I'm quickly going to fill that in. A denomination breakdown is very important. You need to have it in whatever sort of planner you choose. I highly suggest starting with this one here like I did. This is on Amazon for literally 
$12. I always have it linked in my description, but this was this one was a, a perfect starter one. Now I've moved on to the Budget Moms Planner and I am loving it. So I'm just gonna quickly write down all of the envelopes, amounts, and the denominations for each. All right, I missed a couple categories there, but I did add them. So now the next part here, which I wanted to show you is to figure out our denominations from our budget. I think this video is actually a really good video on showing how to budget a paycheck. Um, like I said, everybody is different. Every budget is different. Every, you know, sinking fund, bills, everything is different, but you kind of get the idea on how to build your own budget. So for groceries, I always get $100 bill. And then this is just how I figure out the denominations when I go to the bank. I add this all up, I figure it all out. Costco will get 150, Renault's can get 100. And then I do have beauty in here um, for 25. So I'm just gonna add it to the Renault's is gonna be a 20 and a five. Birthdays is 110, travel is 120. Pets is 220. So here in Canada also, we don't have dollar bills. We don't have dollar bills and we don't have pennies. We do have coins that are $1 and we have another coin that is worth $2. So they are loonies and toonies. So that is why you don't see any um, dollar amounts here either. Date night will be getting 110. Holidays and support small. Hunting is another category. I forgot it is getting 60, which is going to be three 20s. And I'm going to add in a five here for anniversary, just on the same line. Janet is getting 25. And then taxes, Apollo, car maintenance, car registration is all getting one $10 bill. Emergency fund is getting a 20. And then actually, I'm going to change that to a two and include Christmas on this line as well. So then what you do is you just bring down your denominations two 100s, 150, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. $10 bills, one, two, three, four, and five, $5 bills. And then we figure out how much the total is, which is $200, $50, 13 times $20 is $260, 10 tens is $100, and five, 20, five fives is 25. Let's double check our math. It should equal 635, 50 plus 260 plus 100 plus 25. And yes, it is 635 is the total. So then with these denominations, I use my handy dandy little envelope that I got off of Etsy. I always have it linked down below as well. And I already filled this out. But this is what I take to the bank. It is an envelope. So once they give you the money, I just give the teller this. They love it. It makes it easy for both of us. They give me the cash and then I put the cash in here to then bring home in order to do my cash stuffing. So my cash stuffing video you will see on Saturday. So make sure you tune in for that. All of these um, categories that we budgeted for, we will be cash stuffing in our envelope. So that is it for the July budget, you guys. Like I said, I'm going to leave this $765 in the bank and I will definitely use it accordingly for our savings challenges, but I will definitely have to do some um, figuring out with that extra money. Like I said, we just became debt-free at 
the end of June. So I'm still kind of working with how we are working our budget and you know how much we're gonna have left over to allocate for savings challenges with the traveling that I had mentioned prior. So just bear with me, but we will all figure it out together. And thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure that you give it a like and also leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I always love talking to all of my subscribers, finding out where you're from please let me know down below. So I will see you in Saturday's video. Thanks for watching.